Okay, here we go. Now, I know I'm very bad against the solar pillar. In fact, it's probably my worst one. Uh, so, what I'm saying is, if I can definitively beat it a lot better than I did with the, uh... What's it called? <laughs> then with the snow, the rock, the snowman cannon, then I know for sure I'm a lot, well, maybe not a lot, but I'm more improved. I'm not totally sure, but I believe the Stardust Cell minions are killing Crawltipedes, like, ages above my head here. Like, that's what all these broken pieces of garbage are falling on me. Okay. Still having some real trouble not dying. Uh, oh, I should even have put up a campfire or something. Basically, every advantage that you can have should be used. Um, why don't I stand still to gain the stealth bonus? Hello, Crawltipede. Immediate death. Good. Okay. I don't know how many enemies it specifically takes to take down a shield. But if the pillar itself is killing me by fragments... Uh, maybe I need to plan that better. You know, for that matter, maybe I should be learning how to use the Unreal Sniper Rifle a lot better. Because that thing has a 93% chance of critically hitting something. That is... Oh, God. That is already getting me killed by the Crawltipedes. I'm just saying that that's almost every shot guaranteed to do... a thousand damage. Wow, that was really fast. Wait, what? Torn in half by bullet. I don't think these things are firing bullets. I'm firing bullets. I think the game just glitched. Maybe. I I haven't had any trouble running into my own fire before. That's extremely strange. Well, mostly I was using rockets before, too. Uh, is it possible that maybe the solar pillar specifically meant to, you know mess up ranged characters who use bullets? Seems kind of strange. Seems actually extremely strange and at the same time prejudiced. Let's use the Xeno Popper and see if that weird idea is true. Because these things are chlorophyte, right? So still. I don't really see any bullet like returning. Like, could, there could have been? I mean, anything could be happening. Man. Look at that. That is crazy dead. Like, if I'm invisible, I can one-shot these things. As long as they're not in motion, it seems. I don't know where the crawl to peed went. Oh god. I thought these things didn't attack you when you stood on the ground. I guess I was wrong. Okay, let's get a little bit closer, not a lot closer, because the solar tower does attack you too, I guess. There we go. Okay, this seems to be a valid t way of just getting farther, but um, I'm still taking too much damage here. Okay, there we go. I think that counted. There we go. Yeah, definitely the uh, extra healing potions are a way to get a little bit more... What's the word? Uh, survivability out of my lives. It's extremely important. There we go. Instant death. To, like, anything. Almost anything. Maybe not those guys. Or at least, instant, near instant death lets my minions kill them off for me. That's really swell. Um, let's fire one more down in here, maybe. Especially since I still have the uh, ammo regeneration buff. Oh god! I forgot that those are homing. 
There's really not much I can do if I try to avoid flying to attract unwanted attention or stay on the ground and get impaled. Still, even with this death thing going on, in comparison, I'm still really, really better than I did last time. Because last time it took ages. Ages to survive. Where'd that nurse go? Can I put her nearby? I feel like I should have put her nearby. I'm putting the dryad into that little house there because... Well, I heard somewhere that actually if you fight inside her aura... She literally gives you an extra six defense points. Which I didn't know. And is actually pretty significant, even in late game, I think. Considering how damage and, uh... What's the word? Oh, how armor reduces all incoming damage. Uh, yeah, I got lots of Wrath Potions. No need to worry there, guys. Don't worry about old Nero. He, he's got it covered. But the point is... I need to, like, milk everything possible. I've seen people create arenas involving mm, water surrounded by bubbles so that the shrimpy truffle mount will allow them to go super fast. I don't need to go that far, but it is an option. Oh, God. It's an option I have available to me. And I will gladly relish all options I have. Because right now, it's extremely rough. Okay, I'm just going to Vortex beat on these guys. Is that a real term? That's a lot of enemies in one place. I was kind of dead from the start there. There we go. Now I'm in a pretty good position to just... sit back and let everything around me get sniper rifled. I knew this gun was really worth getting from the dungeon. It took a long time to, to get it, for example, guys. But, uh, you know, practice... Practice is necessary. It's almost like, specifically the Electrosphere Launcher is, uh, like, on your pillar gear uh, setup list. I can just kind of sit here and auto-kill everything that moves. One click and it's dead. Except maybe that guy. Ow! Solar Fragments deal 136. So don't stand still when you see one of those coming at you. Otherwise, fire at will. Wheaton. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Oh, God. Yep, it saw me. 10,000 damage? How did... No. That had to be some sort of strange glitch. Like, the sniper rifle doesn't deal a 10,000 damage. Okay? It does... A thousand! I mean, unless... Tch, that's ten times more damage. That's madness. I mean... It's to a crawl to Pete. It's not a big deal. I can't... They don't even have a health bar, for all I know. I'm not even sure all their kills are counting. Look, it says zero crawl to Pete's murdered. How does that work? I've been sitting here shooting mobs down for ages. Not really ages. But uh, for a significant amount of time. So I don't know where it says I've, I've killed zero of them. That's not particularly fair, according to me. But if I literally have to kill hundreds of mobs, I think just standing here and, you know, sniping them off is my best bet. It's, it's, an, it's a weird tactic to be considered. And certainly the rate of... Oh, there we go. Nope. There we go. That should actually take out the solar pillar while I'm gone. Look at that. Splat. Immediately destroyed. Fabulous. Yeah, no, nothing I've done in the past or future... Okay, I work... Okay. By that I mean when I fought the pillars before. Um, nothing is giving me luminite ore, luminite bars, luminite anything, which is apparently a component for the endgame armors, which obviously are something I'm working towards. It's a bit odd that, you know, if they indeed you only get them from fighting and beating the Moon Lord, that they're hidden in behind such a barrier. 
Because then what are you getting better for? I mean, I can understand. Hey, you beat the game. You want some rewards. Check out this loot. At the same time, though, it's like... Couldn't there have been a, a subpar tier of... Of, like, armors and things? If that's the case. Because I'm feeling kind of sad. Everything's locked behind a really big progression block. And I ain't good at fighting the Moon Lord. I don't know if you can get good at fighting the Moon Lord. But uh, off screen now, I suppose. It's the time to go farm Chlora, fight for bullets. Um, fish up some fish. I think, I'm pretty sure there's a mana potion. No, not a mana potion, sorry. An ammo uh, conservation potion that I think I have to fish in the jungle to get. So that's that's exactly the best destination for me. But that's housekeeping. Nobody wants to watch me fish. I mean, I'm good at it, maybe. I still have a bunch of quests to complete, but uh, no, nobody wants to watch that. Do you? <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Do you want to watch a guy in Terraria fish? I, I, I assume I already know the answer. There are some things you do off-screen, like when you play Minecraft. Um, yeah, you know, you mine. But not all the time. It's like, it gets old. You're here to join me on playing this game, having fun, and, and learning about all the cool new stuff in 1.3. But, you know, I don't want to make it a tedious exercise to watch me, because what would the point be? You're here to join in my fun. Uh, I'll check out what you're up to, though. Weaver and Tail? Really? Really. That's easy enough. Because to be fair, fishing looks like this. Let's grab this. Switch these equipments. And see how t fast it takes us to get, uh, hmm, you know, a, uh, a Weaver and Tail. I do have a lot of very valuable potions I could use at my disposal as well. For example, a fishing level potion. Uh, crate potions. Sonar potions. I got a lot of stuff saved up, to be honest. Bomb fishes? They're sort of like a weaker version of level 4 rockets. Which, by this point in the game, I can use them all day. Double Cod. Actually, I think a Double Cod is honestly the fish that creates ammo conservation potions. So, because I made this a jungle biome, I can actually earn the fish I need. Oh, for goodness sakes. You're not even worth killing. Harpies are terrible. But uh, I can actually get the items I want just by sitting here. That's fantastic. That's actually amazing, because conservation of ammo is, oddly enough, isn't on par with damage as a ranger. Well, when you run out of bullets, <laughs> it's game over, brother. So yeah, um, the more I don't have to worry about bullets, the better I am. I don't exactly know if the ammo conservation thing also applies to bait when fishing, because that would be also fantastic. Uh, because you can put bait in the ammo slot, but does it count as ammo? Also, because I turned this into a jungle sky island, does it still count? Uh, the reason the water is red is because I'm using a crimson fountain up top there. It's not a big deal, because... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It just ain't a big deal, because I can't actually find a Crimson World on this zone. We're gonna have to do that another day. Really would have thought I found a... I would have had a, a Weaver and Tail by now. Let me see that again. I really love the update when they actually said, Oh, you can cut... You can catch them in Sky Lakes. Yeah, okay, so... I can't actually find them... Uh, in, in anywhere else. Like, I can't find them on the surface. I can't find them... You know, it, it just was a big mystery on where you're supposed to find fish before they let the angler tell you where to go. It's a little weirded out that I can't... 
you know, if I use a sonar potion just to kind of get a good glimpse, and a fishing potion thing too, like I'm getting double cod, but I'm not getting weaver tail. I know that the jungle has been overridden here, but like I didn't think that meant that this biome was also now not a sky lake, because clearly it's still in the sky and a lake. But just to show off if that's the case or not, let's go above our house where I know for a fact there's another fishing location right up top of the top tall tower. Um, at least I th thought I put a lake up here. Wait, what? Oh god, the nebula pillar is right outside my house? Oh, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, yep, there she is on the map. I didn't want to fight you yet. But you left me no choice. Okay, rockets might have been my better option here. When enemies group up, I will admit it is still a much better solution to use the right weapon suited for the right job. Kind of like... Okay, there we go. A sky lake. A pure sky lake. Like, how long is it going to take me to find a possible weaver and tail? Uh, instantly! Wow! I guess I was right. Biomes do matter. Still, um, Mr. Guide? Tell me now, what can I do with these, uh, double cards? Ammo Reservation Potion, and it just takes Moon Glow. Wow, that's fabulous. We'll be crafting those off-screen with the Alchemy Station and possibly getting a whole ton of those. The reason why I haven't been using them before is I didn't realize where you could get them. It didn't come up. I don't fish in the jungle very often. Who does? Um, oh, that's right. The angler is on the top of the bloody world, which is a joke because it's also crimson up here. Sort of. In appearance only. So, Mr. Dude, what do you got for me? Super Absorbent Sponge! Hey, I've never gotten that item before. Capable of soaking up an endless amount of water. We could literally drain the ocean with this sucker. Actually, did it say water? Yeah, so it probably doesn't also count things like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, probably doesn't actually count, uh, lava or honey. But still, never got it. Pairs up really well with that. We'll use the heart reach potions whenever we actually get pretty far. So, also, we got an iron crate, which contains mana potions, useless, a lovely anchor, useless, and a shine potion, which will be pretty for right now, but it'll be useful. That's fine. I don't need to be totally useful all times. It's no fun. Nah, so I suppose I'll move on from now. Farm up some resources and call that a night. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody.